This is Amy Zimmer from Holland Hunter Realtors with your home tip of the week. If you are considering purchasing a home, you're probably already saving money for your down payment. But what about the other costs needed to complete the transaction? Some buyers have been surprised by how much they were charged at the closing. Knowing exactly how much money you need to come up with in addition to your down payment will make purchasing your home a less stressful process. Understanding what expenses are required at the closing to buy a house will help you budget and save money more efficiently. Closing costs are fees and expenses you pay when you close on your house beyond the down payment. Expect these costs to run about 3-5% to of your loan amount. The amount may include title insurance, attorney's fees, appraisals, taxes, and more. Essentially, the closing costs include the myriad fees for the services and expenses required to finalize the mortgage. The expenses may vary state to state, and this is due to the differences in property and transfer taxes, as well as the rates charged by different attorneys and lenders. You'll have to pay closing costs whether you buy a home or even if you're just refinancing. Most of the closing costs fall on the buyer, but the seller typically has to pay a few as well, such as the real estate agent's commission. What makes up your closing costs? Well, the amount may include loan origination fees, appraisal and survey fees, title insurance, homeowner's insurance, and remember, this homeowner's insurance, it usually includes the whole first year, which is generally paid at the closing or right before the closing. Private mortgage insurance, which is called PMI. If your down payment is less than 20%, you may need to pay this PMI insurance, which protects the lender against losses if you cannot repay your loan. Mortgage points, property taxes, closing or escrow fee, attorney fees, and also uh, your closing costs could include any miscellaneous fees, such as a, a number of small fees that may be included in closing, from the cost of a credit check to the closing costs, uh, um, such as registering your purchase with the local government. Your lender is required to outline all of your closing costs in the loan estimate that you receive when you first apply for your loan, and then once again in the closing disclosure document that you'll receive in the days right before your settlement or your closing. Review and compare these two amounts closely and see how they stack up. They should be very, very similar. And ask questions about anything you don't understand. Once you've determined that your closing costs um, check out, check with your realtor about what type of payment is acceptable. Generally, you're going to be asked to pay via a cashier's check. So just check to make sure because you probably aren't going to be able to bring cash to the closing. Good luck and happy home buying.